Church here, and welcome to the Game Grinder. And today I would like to do an unboxing of a Gamer's Edition of a game that I'm super excited about. Now, what is Gamer's Edition? Uh, this is a, a site or a company that has taken a few digital only games and made really cool kind of collector's editions for them. They've done Gone Home, Kerbal Space Program, Papers Please, and a few other games. And how it works, as far as I know, at least for this one anyways, is that they open up pre-orders for these special editions, usually about like 60 bucks or so, and pretty much as many people sign up for it, that's how many copies they make. And um, I think it's really cool that they're doing this. There's kind of been a bunch of these digital only games lately that have been getting physical releases in one way or another and I think that is freaking awesome because so many of these games like I you know people just want to be able to have them you know, I want to be able to add them to my shelves to my collection you know say hey I love these games and it's kind of a drag when they're digital only but uh, anyways so without further ado then I got the Hotline Miami Gamers Edition so like I said, these are kind of like limited run uh, special editions. Um, this, it's almost like crowdfunding, but this one was originally like put up for pre-order or whatnot about a year ago, almost to the day. Um, and yeah, so there's, it's kind of been mired in a few setbacks here and there. Um, something with manufacturing like overseas in China or something slow production there was some port issues transport issues or whatever but it is finally here and I'm super excited um, so Hotline Miami are awesome games there's Hotline Miami and Hotline Miami 2 I actually did a review for Hotline Miami 2 wrong number so I should probably put a annotation here somewhere and there'll be a link in the description too but I uh, absolutely love these games really cool they're like top-down kind of like twin stick shooters uh, pretty violent pretty uh, cerebral like you know they're kind of like trippy and stuff and um, yeah just sweet games amazing soundtracks by the way um, I'm not huge into electronic music but these soundtracks are awesome so um, yeah so this finally arrived and as I said, I'm a huge fan of Hotline Miami, so uh, I couldn't be more excited for this. So let's kind of just check out the package then a little bit. So of course, like I said, Hotline Miami 1 Gamers Edition. It has a seal here that has how many games are made and what number I got. So they made 2,161 copies of this, and I have number 1,598. Not that I care what number I got, but it's still pretty neat. Um, the sad thing is, is I've already seen, just because I was curious, you know, I, I know this shit goes on all the time, but of course I had to look at eBay, and there's like two people trying to sell them for like 350 bucks or something, which is absolutely insane, but I'm just glad I was able to get in on this, because I seem to kind of miss out on some of these things once in a while. But uh, then it has the famous quote, do you like hurting other people? Um, has some accolades, which I think is just kind of, you know, just for style purposes. And then, you know, not a whole lot on the back, um, just some screenshots of the game, you know, all the companies involved and whatnot. So let's go ahead and break the seal on this one and check her out. All right, so the slip cover is off and inside is the box with all the goodies, uh, nothing on the box, but let's check it out and see what we get. So, as you can tell, very striking packaging and presentation with the reds and the whites. Uh, <laughs> just joking, but let's see what we got here. So, there is a cassette, actual real cassette tape, side A, side B. This has selected tracks by Denaton, the developers of the soundtrack of the games. Um, and one kind of neat thing about the game's soundtrack is they're actually all composed of real-world electronic artists. A lot of people who do, like, uh, trance and club house music. It's 
uh, you know, it might not sound like everybody's cup of tea, but if you actually like listen to the soundtrack while playing the game, it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, yeah, I'm not big into electronic music, but I love these game soundtracks. Like, a couple of the best soundtracks I've ever heard, by far. Uh, but then behind cassette tape was the Hotline Miami cameo cards. And what these are, are basically just like little trading collector's cards for um, artists for the soundtrack. So there's like El Huevo, um, Coconuts, Non Verber. Romance and dub mood. And one neat thing about these is they're actually like, I'm not sure if these are intended to be traded with other people. I know they are releasing some of these cards like separately, but it, they're, they're numbered. So there's like 35 cards and I have 32 through 34. Um, yeah, and with with each artist it tells you what, so what songs they did and what uh, games they did them in. So next thing here is the main attraction, for me anyways, and that is the um, Hotline Miami 1 and 2. Uh, this comes in a neat little case, uh, pretty test looking um, with the, the main game artwork. And then this is, I believe, should be the games and possibly the additional DVD but we will find out so it comes with uh, the games here and then there is a little notebook which I'm guessing is probably just uh, some like bonus material artwork character stuff uh, kind of interesting talks about some of the characters and um, how things work so I'll have to look at that a little bit more but that's kind of neat and then there's another layer of stuff here, which is, I like how this is laid out actually with these like slip covers. And the next set of goodies here is the Hotline Miami 2 wrong number graphic novel. Let me just remove that there. And uh, yeah, so I don't know if this was something that was released prior to the game, uh, but it basically is just, you know, a comic covering, I'd imagine surrounding events of the the jacket killer and the the following events uh but it is pretty hefty um i don't know you can't really tell so there's you know definitely a good amount of material here so that's neat you know not just like a single like you know slim comic book then we have the stencil which is a um logo for the 50 blessings gang so you can go around and tag the world if you feel like it um, I don't think I will be doing that, but still kind of neat. And then an art card uh, created by the artists involved with creating the game. And then just some neat little sprite work of the overhead view of the, the various characters you can play as. And by the end of Hotline Miami 2, you, you play as a, you know, a good amount of characters. So that is pretty much it for the Hotline Miami gamers edition which like i said i am super excited for this uh, just great great games i really encourage everyone to go check them out uh, they're a lot of fun very tough but the presentation is there um, i pretty much summed it up pretty well in my review of hotline miami 2 um, and it's really great that i can add something physical for these games that i enjoy so much to my collection and I really look forward to future gamers editions for maybe some pretty neat games coming down the road. So I would love to know, have you played Hotline Miami or Hotline Miami 2, wrong number? Uh, let me know, I'd love to know your thoughts. And if you haven't, are you gonna check it out? And what do you think about this collector's edition? I think this is pretty sweet. I would love to see more bulky ones like this. You know, of course I had the the recent ones that I did the, the videos for, the Tomb Raider, Life is Strange, and Witch in the Hundred Night. But those, you know, just kind of little things. Where this is, this is something a little bit more special, which I think is, again, really sweet. So, of course, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on The Game Grinder.